So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom, an update on some of my painting projects and uh, everything seems to have gone Italian wars just lately for me. Um, so um, as you may know if you've been following the channel for any length of time, um, my sort of New Year project or my 2022 project was to do some armies from the Italian uh, wars the later, well, sort of, I guess the later Renaissance period, um, and um, I've, I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, I was a bit intimidated, but um, a lot of people in the community, in the plastic crack community particularly, were doing um, Landschnecks and so forth, and I thought, well, let's have, it a go, have a go. So I've already showed off the first couple of pipe blocks and some um, double-handers, um, guys that I've already painted, a cannon I've already painted, and... Um, yeah, it's been more of the same. So um, this is a slightly contentious unit, shall we say? Um, so this is a unit of Landschnecks, um, and you can see they've got the black flags. I've also sort of predominantly painted them black, um, or at least that's the dominant colour, shall we say? Other colours in there as well. And this is supposed to be one of the Italian black bands. Now there's a lot of discussion in books about whether or not this was actually a unit of Landschnecks that uh, wore black. Uh, they definitely existed. Um, they Apparently the black was in mourning. Uh, it was a mourning colour for um, one of their lords. I won't go into huge amounts of detail, mainly because I can't remember off the top of my head anyway. Um, but um, some debate whether or not they did actually wear black or whether it was just the banners that were black. But they were certainly known as the Black Band, and uh, they fought on the French side, and um, eventually were exterminated in one of the big battles. Um, they were annihilated. Uh, I think, from what I've read, a lot of them started out as um, uh, missile men, arquebusts, um, and crossbowmen, uh, but there certainly was a pipe block um, at the end when they died. I think the unit was actually resurrected, um, not obviously the figures themselves, but not the men themselves anyway, but um, uh, the unit was resurrected um, later on, I believe. But um, I just thought the, 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 the standards were so cool, I wanted to do them, and I also wanted to sort of take a little bit of artistic license and use the black um, just to because I thought it looked nice uh, and with a bit of a um, contrast to the other uh, pipe blocks that I will have in my army. So there's another 24 man unit done, a little bit more uniform than the last one, um, but I do like sort of just the sort of grouping them together on a big base like this allows you to sort of position them in slightly different, not quite uniform ranks. And I like that. Um, and I think it, it kind of has a nice effect. Um, it does some weird shit to the uh, autofocus on this camera though, doesn't it? With those spikes coming right up. It's like 3D vision. <laughs> anyway, another pipe block done. So, talking about the fact they started out, the Black Band started out as um, missile troops. I thought I'd do a unit of arc boosts. Um, so, um, I think these are um, artisan miniatures I bought from... Um, uh, North Star miniatures when I was ordering something else and um, they're nice enough figures. Uh, I've, again, I've sort of tried to have a keep them bright like Landschnecks, but also have quite a lot of dark black within them um, and they're carrying the, the standard. Um, I've done them as a, as, as a small unit um, just to sort of, uh, I guess, because I think for the rules I'm going to use, you know, 24 man pipe block as the sort of standard and then most of the missile troops will be um, uh, will be small units like this. Um, so that's that also finished. So I can't honestly tell you why it is, but I've uh, e even through the sort of reading up on the earlier Condotti period of Italian Renaissance battles or late what is it early medieval, late medieval. Um, it's all post post medieval to me. Um, they, I have this thing about the uh, Florence, uh, Florence as a city. I really liked it. I think probably because Hawkwood, who I think is just an awesome character, um, largely um, fought on behalf of uh, Florence. And so I decided I was going to do, when I was doing the Italian Wars, which is obviously a bit later than uh, Hawkwood, I'd do um, an Italian pike block. 
Um, and of course it had to be a Florentine one. So that's what I've done here. It's got a Florence standard. Um, I think this is uh, Pete's Flags, I think it was. Um, I got the, uh, got the standard from. Um, and again, sort of harking back to sort of, um, I guess my background of doing lots of Napoleonics um, in that you often put the mounted colonel in the in in a unit of foot, um, just to show him leading forward. And I thought, well, what the hell? Let's do it with the uh, with the pikemen. Um, these are plastic Perry figures, and that's one of their plas That's one of their metal commanders on horse. There's a couple of metal. The guy with the standard, the guy with the sword at the front, are metal. Uh, I think the uh, bugler and the drummer are as well um, but the rest are all plastic and I've swapped them or I've used the Perry's Italians heads on the um, it's the it's War of the Roses um, mercenary box set you can get probably the most flexible one <laughs> of all the kits that Perry's do I think um, so you put the Italian heads on which are often metal a uh, bit of a bugger to get to stick and then, um, yeah, mix them in like this. Again, sort of try to keep them so they can see they're a little bit grouped up around the standard end, um, uh, a bit more open at this end. Just that's how I chose to just show this fact they're not the, the most effective pipemen in the world, um, but um, they'll certainly grace the table. And, and again, use predominantly red, uh, which red and white was the Florentine colour, or is the Florentine colour, so um, I thought that's what I would do with it. Um, and as I say, put the commander um, leading from the front on his horse. Uh, he probably lasts about five seconds in a push of pike when he's on a horse. Um, so I assumed that as he approaches the enemy, he would dismount and the horse would be taken to the rear. Um, and he would get about it with his broadsword. Or maybe he'd follow the horse to the back as well and uh, control the pike block from there. Who knows? I'm not here to judge. Anyway, another pike block done. So a bit of um, something a bit different. When I was on the Warlord site, um, I, I, I can't remember what I was buying, but I was buying something. Um, shouldn't have done because I got too much already. Uh, I saw this um, sort of hand cannon, uh, which I just loved. I just thought it was a fan. I mean, the, the the figure. This figure is not particularly brilliant, but it, I just love the fact he sort of uh, he's got a hand, a hand over the face and he's sort of ready to set off this uh, hand cannon which the guy here is actually holding. And if you can see, I don't know whether it's light lit well enough, but you can just see um, his face is looking absolutely horrified, like keep that bloody lit thing away from me. Uh, I just thought it was so funny. Um, the, the figure himself should really be standing at the back doing it, but I think it works better on the side. Um, and anyway, I positioned the, um, the gun too far. Oh, I wanted to use this circular base and I positioned it too far well there wasn't enough room for the figure to go on the back put it that way so I put a little pebble there and um, he's standing on that and uh, and uh, just about to give fire with this uh, unholy weapon uh, much to his mates um, concern <laughs> so here we go with another unit of arquebusts um, small unit again although um, obviously just add another base to make it a normal size unit which is uh, probably what I'll aim to do build enough that uh, uh, I can do that for the future um, these are I think foundry or casting room fin miniatures um, 28 mil metals apart from the guy here who is a warlord figure snuck in um, nice to do good fun to do um, actually used some of the new um, speed paints army painter speed paints on this um, which which was good actually worked pretty well and um, my feared um, reactivation there's been stories about uh, some of the some of the speed paints reactivating when they're um, wet um, hasn't seemed to have happened so far so well they're varnished now so shouldn't do now but um, yeah quite pleased with how they came out another unit um, from this new obsession completed so next up um, is the start of the cavalry for this project um, so these are a group of six um, mounted crossbowmen, Italian mounted crossbowmen. They are um, steel fist miniatures. Um, and I love the horses. The horses are fantastic, really good. A little disappointed, if I'm honest, with the riders. Um, the heads particularly were a little bit uh, not so sure. In fact, I used a couple of the Perry um, metal heads on them as well, just to sort of 
break them up a bit but um yeah nice no actually nice figures um you know the still fisting fist figures do look quite good um just say just a little bit disappointed with some of the heads on them that was my only criticism uh, it wasn't help that i managed to drop um them as i was moving around uh, the house um and um I managed to lose two heads they fell off and disappeared somewhere um, so I had to uh, swap out sort them out anyway um, but um, anyway nice unit uh, another one completed the first of the cavalry uh, I've got loads of heavy knights to do um, and I will probably start embarking on them fairly soon but um, yeah mounted crossbowmen tick so next up a uh, bit of terrain um, I uh, I love a bit of eye candy on the table, you know, it's what makes the game particularly good for me and having this permanent um, gaming room has allowed me to sort of go a little bit crazy with terrain. I placed an order with uh, Grand Manor some time ago, um, it doesn't come through in a hurry but it is lovely stuff um, and uh, part of the order was this uh, fan fountain. Um, which I thought would be great as a centerpiece in uh, my Peninsula games, in the Italian Wars games, all sorts of things like that. Um, it's a two-piece actually. This bit comes off. Oh, it doesn't now because I've stuck it. Um, I just um, used a sort of stone colour, a bit of dry brushing with some white, um, and then um, used some um, uh, a wash over the top, then dry brushed again, um, and then in the in the bowl here uh, and in the levels I, I painted blue um, and then used some of the um, Vallejo um, water effect um, and I think it's come out okay quite happy with it it'll be nice as a little feature um, I wish it didn't have this uh, pot uh, you can't take that off it's stuck on um, but it is what it is it's a nice little figure and it was it'll look good on the table so finally, and apologies for the shaky cam, but it's difficult to get this in. Um, this is another Grand Manor uh, train piece. This is a cross on the hill. Um, and um, I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. Cross comes out, or did, before I stuck it in. Um, but the rest of it is just a resin cast, um, sort of rocky outcrop, which I've done again, um, sort of using stone colours and and some washes and then dry brushes of uh, lighter shades over it. Um, I'm really pleased with the effect. I think it's come out beautifully. And then some um, additional tufts that I've just put in, uh, just to give it a little bit of break it up. And also to around where this cross drops into the rock, there was a little bit of a gap. And if I'd been a bit more comfortable with my green stuff uh, skills I probably could have filled it but I used tufts instead um, just to sort of make sure the gap wasn't as obvious as it uh, was initially uh, but really pleased with how this came in I think again it'll look like it looked really good as a centerpiece or just part of the terrain on the on the table uh, from anything from the peninsula through to the Italian Wars Second World War even um, it's uh, pretty much the same so Anything sort of rural, um, sort of uh, Mediterranean, I think, would work with this. So there you go. That's what I've been up to. Lots of Italian wars, a bit of terrain, uh, lots more to come. Um, but um, good to get some of those projects. Good to get a project underway and feeling good about it and rattling through some of the units. As I say, next up is going to be some cavalry, I think, and uh, feel a little less confident with those. That's uh, they're so intricate, and I've seen some wonderful work people have done with their Italian Wars cavalry um, but we'll give it a crack uh, and see what comes out at the end anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so um, I hope you're doing well with your projects loving all the videos out there uh, keep it up keep working uh, at what you're doing um, and remember just enjoy yourselves be safe be uh, be well and I will see you again soon this is Dom signing out mm -hmm.